I'm Vaughn Martin, and I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago. I've been residing here in the Washington, D.C. area for 43 years. Um, I, uh, I was born on the 20th of April, 1943, so that makes me about 68 years of age, blessed with that, you know. I've spent over 35 years in the business, and um, I still find myself doing it, you know. I still do Caribbeana on WPFW, and now I'm trying to collect uh, the material, assess the material I've collected over the years into some form that can have some representation to, so that younger generations will, will have a sense of our history. When I migrated here on the 25th of October 1967, I lived in Sea Pleasant in Maryland. Uh, six months after that, I moved to 1706 4th Street Northwest in Washington, D.C. And I resided there for a few months and then moved to uh, Rhode Island Plaza, 13th and Rhode Island Avenue Northeast. I lived there for about seven, eight, ten years around there. Caribbean people have always had a, a role to play in the making of America. And I say that because we have contributed to the making of America through people like Alexander Hamilton, who was from the Caribbean. You have people in the early days, Jersey Joe Walcott, one of the first welterweight champions, John Ross Swarm, who was one, a merchant, who created the Merchant Marines. You know, all these people, a lot of people who are unknown today, did things to build this country and we can trans, trans, transmit them all through the lines to today, where you have people like Colin Powell and, and Susan um, from Essence, you know, Susan magazine, Taylor. Susan Taylor from Essence magazine. All these people have made tremendous contributions, but they are unrecognized because it, the, the word Caribbean is not mentioned. Mm -hmm. And I think that all of that has to change, and it will only change when we of ourselves assert ourselves and demand our rightful place in this mosaic of people here in America. Okay, great. WPFWs and my goals and, and, and objectives remain the same. Uh, you know, we wanted to uh, to be the voice of, uh, an alternative voice of the people, mm -hmm. um, to give people information that they wouldn't readily hear other places. And so that was the whole idea.